India be a drug free nation? Are we creating an illusion by burning a few kilos of drugs? Or do we need to relook at the messy drug laws? If you are aware, India is one of the largest countries in the world where millions of people are dependent on drugs, alcohol, cannabis, opioids, and other substance abuse. The number keeps increasing with the options which are available easily. So, does India produce these drugs? No, more than 70% of the drugs that is smuggled into the country is through international sea routes, while 20% is by the roadways and almost 10% by air. Recently, Union Home Minister Amit Shah revealed that NCB has seized drugs worth rupees 20,000 crores between 2014 to 21. This doesn't stop here. In April 2022, the Directorate of Revenue Intelligence recovered approximately 260 kilograms of heroin worth rupees 1,300 crores. In May 2022, DRI seized 56 kgs of cocaine of 500 crores. Recently, in August 2022, Mumbai police seized more than 700 kilograms of mephidron that was worth rupees 1,400 crores. In compared to general population, the incidence of drug abuse amongst children and adolescents is higher in India. While the drugs like cocaine, heroin, ecstasy remain a costly affair for children, we cannot deny the fact that the children have access to such drugs. Once you take a substance, it has an impact on you, releases certain chemicals, you feel good momentarily, feel uh, light, you may see some things, you may feel different and after a while when the effect goes down, you feel a low, a crash, you feel uncomfortable, anxious and then you feel like using again and then it becomes a cycle from one use a few days to daily to multiple times because the key here is to understand the biology of the drug takes over. It's not about individuals or weaknesses because once you've taken it in, it's the chemical which is taking, ensuring that it becomes and does what it wants to do inside your body. While recovering from drug overdose is not easy, it causes mental health issues, illusion, it also leads to depression and suicide. The question arises, seizing 1 lakh crore worth of drugs would be enough? So how much more effort do we need to stop drugs in India? Or do we need to change our goal to eradicate the drugs here? In India, a survey revealed that 63.6% .6 of patients who underwent treatment, they were introduced to drugs at a very young age. Marwan is in my blood, Marwan is in my life. When we talk about rehabilitation, only 1 in 20 drug addicts in India get treatment at hospital or even a chance for rehabilitation. There's almost a delay in the treatment because of ignorance and denial. In an undiluted form, we need to understand and accept that drugs destroy lives. Having said that, a concern that's worldwide is what do we do to reduce drug abuse? What do we do to reduce experimentation with drugs as it gets younger and younger every few years? And I think it comes down to significant amount of awareness where we use the right role models whom young people look up to and tell them how drugs are harmful. So fighting drugs should not only rest on target and policy intervention, but there should be real initiative to fight drugs in India through behavioral change and creating awareness. Stop stigmatizing and start seeking help. Remember, doing drugs is not a royalty.